Hi there! In this tutorial we will learn how to create a luminosity mask action. A few words about luminosity mask. Luminosity mask break an image down into various channels of luminosity or simply to say into uh, various stages of the light. In other words they allow you to make very specific selection in Photoshop based on how bright or dark an area is. So luminosity masks are commonly used in landscape but uh, can be also efficiently implemented to portraiture editing. If you prefer to use luminosity mask from the easy panel you can go ahead and skip this video but if you really want to learn Photoshop instead of just using ready-made actions I suggest to follow the steps. Open any of your images and repeat the steps right after me. This particular action is uh, repetitive and can be quite confusing. So don't worry if something goes wrong, you will get it from second or even third attempt. So let's go into actions first and we will learn in one video uh, two things at the time how to create an action and how to create a luminosity mask. So uh, let's start recording. If you don't have the action panel open here, you can go to Windows and check your actions from here. So the panel will drop and on the right above corner you will see the menu button. You have to choose new set and let's name it LMS shortcut for luminosity mask masks hit OK again go into the menu and now you choose new action and this action we will simply call play me alright so once you hit a record button there is no way back and if you make any mistake you will have to repeat all over again so please uh, give your full attention to the screen I will try not to rush through the video and I will try to go as slow as I can so press the record now you can see uh, the red button indicates that a record is on first of all we are going to channels let me say a couple of words about channels you know what is RGB right it stands for red, green and blue. So the channels contain information about light and shadows. Red channel, for example, if you select, it has no contrast, right? The image lost contrast. If you go to green channel, it has more contrast and blue even more contrast. So all three channels contain information on light and shadow but we can also break this into parts that will have stages of light intensities so let's open the channels and first of all what we have to do is press command or control button and click on RGB channel now we have our first luminosity selection let's call it light selection so we need to save that selection and we are going to select save selection and that is gonna be our first stage of light we will call it light 1 hit OK go down to light 1 channel we have to now extract the highlights from um, this channel, even more highlighted areas. So for that we are going again to select, but this time lot selection. Choose light one in channels if it's not there by default, but check this time intersect with selection, intersect with selection press OK. Now as you can see uh, the more uh, highlighted area being selected 
and we need to save this. So we are going again to select, save selection, and we will call it as light 2. Press OK. We have to repeat this uh, all over again. Going to light 2 channel, extracting the highlights, going to select, load selection, light 2, if it's not by default, intersect with selection, press OK. We have to save now our selection. We are going again to select, save selection, and we will call it light 3. OK. Going down to the light 3, select, load selection, choosing light 3. If it's not there, you have to select it on your own. And intersect with selection. Hit OK. What we need to do now is to save our last selection and we are going to select Save Selection and call it Light 4. That's going to be for me my last uh, stage, you say, of luminosity. And though you can uh, repeat this process as many times, as many stages of light uh, you want to make, but I really don't find the use of a couple of pixels on the image. So uh, now we have to create the shadows. And first of all, I would like to deselect this a little pixels by going to select and deselect or just pressing by command D. First, we are going to light one and copy it by dragging to the icon next to the dustbin. I always call it dustbin, bin, bin, dustbin. Hmm. Rename it as shadow one. We need to invert uh, our channel and for that we have to press command or control I. So now we inverted the channel um, and it looks very much like a film negative. So whatever is black now is actually is light and whatever is uh, white is actually dark areas of the image. It's all opposite. So we have to select our shadows from here and we are going to select load selection it will be already automatically pressed here new selection and shadow one will be selected if not you have to again uh, not forget and select the shadow one and press ok so now you can see our selection is there what we need to do is to save it now and we are going to again select save selection we will call it shadow two Press OK. Going down on Shadow 2, we need to extract even deeper shadows now. And we are going to select Load Selection. Choose Shadow 2 if it's not there by default, do not forget. Intersect with Selection checked. Press OK. Saving the selection now by going to Select, Save Selection and let's call it shadow 3. Press OK. Again, going down on shadow 3 and I would do my last selection extracting by extracting very deep, the deepest shadows in the image. Select, lot selection, intersect with selection, checked, shadow 3 OK. And I'm saving it by going to select, save selection, name it shadow 4. Press OK. So now as you can see we have four light stages 
luminosity stages and for shadows what we have to do go back to RGB and select command D go back to layers sorry actions and don't forget to close the entire entire action play me otherwise all of it will uh, pop up every time you play the action you don't need it it will confuse you and now you press stop stop the recording so now you have your action here uh, go back to channels let's see what is happening yeah let's see our stages of light stages of shadows and we will check if this action actually works okay so let me go to another image oh there already yeah so <clears throat> we are going to actions now you will get it in your actions section just open the folder lms masks go on play me and hit the button play so something is happening and in no time you will get a second set of luminosity masks in your channels so here we have a first set as you can see and such shadow 4 and here is our second set, set of uh, luminosity masks so let's see if it actually works and um, I will explain you the use of a luminosity mask the, and it's uh, an incredible tool which allows you professionally uh, retouch uh, edit the images not only portraits but it's commonly used as I said in landscapes um, so it allows you to actually precisely choose the area of the image you want to do the changes on and for example now as a quick quick example I want to show you um, what we can do let's go for example on the light 3 and we have uh, selected areas here you can see the shoulder the forehead the cheek and what we have to do is to press command or control A command or control C that means copy all and if you've done everything right this kind of uh, selection border will be uh, around your image then I prefer to go back to RGB channel back to my layers and now it depends on what you want to do with the image for example I want to give the instant uh, glow or instant uh, highlights to my image to create some depth and contrast for that I'm going to drop down a curse adjustment layer uh, my finger is right now on on option alt I just click once on the image it has to become all white like that and pressing command or control V we actually copied pasted you say a mask from uh, channels to adjustment layer now click on thumbnail and you see by pulling the curves I can instantly do amazing changes to the image like this is one of the previews before I create another video on how to use luminosity masks um, you can see overexposed or um, highlighted extremely highlighted areas you can actually instantly bring down and make the light more softer or you want more contrast you pull the curve up and you create a contrast so it's up to you and your photographic vision, artistic vision. I hope you like this tutorial and I assure you that all your time what you spend in creating this action it's once created and you can keep it forever and 
the time will be absolutely worth when you see how much you can do with luminosity masks and your uh, editing of portraits or landscapes. I hope you liked that and if you did, please uh, don't forget to subscribe. Also, I welcome your comments, suggestions uh, down below and um, comment section. You can just mention what maybe next tutorial you would like to see. Also, uh, please don't forget to hit thumbs up so, and that will motivate me to create more and more video. And bye bye, happy clicking!